Oh, this, this morning, today's story, here we are, look, it's been back to the garage, it's been repolished, wow. Now it's as stunning as it should have been in the first place. You see, all the black has been done. And she's had another coat of polish on her, life shine. Wow. Yeah, you can smell the polish on her. Yeah. She's absolutely gorgeous. Well, today's story is I'm going to find all the pictures of all the Peugeots and uh, why we had no problem at all in choosing the Peugeot brand. Oh yeah, let's come around there. Look at all the black. The black is black, isn't it? It's going to be a bit of a mare to look after. But all this, see the back of this is now it's all done, look. It's how it should be. And where's the chip? You can see it if you look mm. really, really closely. Yeah. There and appear some. Gone now, there was two but white not marks too in there. Bad. That's yeah, that's we're on top of that. Did you say the mirrors look a lot well, they're clean, aren't they? cleaner and shinier? They were all, you know, you can see the cloth. But now know? she's blinging. Do you know when you see a car out on the road, the new one, it stands out, doesn't it? it? You know, it stands out. Oh, that's a new one. And then probably six or 12 months down the road, the newness wears off and it blends in. Well, we like to keep our cars as clean as we can and as immaculate as we can so hopefully this will look like oh look brand new car it might be two or three years old before the newness wears off but she's looking absolutely gorgeous um so we're gonna start a story gorgeous, gorgeous. gorgeous. i'm talking about the car <laughs> Oh, then maybe, then you'll look gorgeous to match the car, will you? Gorgeous. gorgeous <laughs> right, let's start the story. Right, drive off. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See the lights, the tiger, the tiger lights in the front. So it's, it's imposing when it approaches you. Right. Here we are, don't thrash my car. Here she comes, the madam. Don't thrash my car, that's officially mine. Don't thrash my car. I'm bringing back shiny side up. Right, okay, <laughs> let's start the story. In the beginning, we were much shifters, earth movers, tonker toys. Um, used to go all over the country. Wherever the machines went, we went. And you, the only picture I've got is, and the the light off the phone doesn't help, does it? Is my finger on there? The light off the phone doesn't help. No. Anyway, you see the back end of this is a two hundred five diesel. Now this was the caravan. This is the easy. We'll come to a little story with the easy in a minute. You'll see them in the front garden in a minute. Um, and there's the caravan. There's the bike, um, CB750, I think it was, an F2. And there's the bike trailer. So Debbie, I had the easy and was pulling the caravan. And Debbie had the generator car. Oh, is that better? Yeah. Debbie, you can just see the back of a little 205 Peugeot diesel. Of course it was diesel, we were on the muck shifting, we never... This Izzy did 160,000, never paid for any fuel. It all came out of the machines, all running on red then days. Um, and Debbie had a generator in here, and she'd pull the bike and the trailer, and off we'd go to various contracts. Uh, where is this? This is Sedgley. Duh. This is Baggeridge, Baggeridge Brick, this is. And look, Duke is with us. Duke is with us everywhere. Where's Duke in the doorway? Duke is in the doorway somewhere asleep. Um, here he is, look. <laughs> There's Duke in the doorway asleep in the machines. <laughs> he used to come everywhere with us. Um, oh, there is, where's... Um, up north, 
We're on a job up north somewhere as well. This is... Mm, it'll come back to me now. Down the A1. Biggles Wade. Yeah, this is Biggles Wade. This is opening up a quarry in Biggles Wade. Uh, where else are we? We're a few. Here's Debbie, look. In the blade. Yeah. KV. Where's KV? KV. We all wanted to get on the blade. And just to annoy us all, KV put... Uh, KV put some... Um, Debbie in the blade. Taught Debbie how to drive the blade. I come out to... Uh, here he is, look, there's... Duke in the back of the machine in a loading shovel. Yeah, and here's M from Wales. Yeah, so anyway, that's that story. Fixing the... There's a there's a track through Bagridge Brick. Um, you go from Bagridge Brick through Bagridge Park, past the golf course, over the what was the tip? You you've heard of um, the Crooked House? Well, go past the Crooked House and there's a hole there. We used to fetch the clay from there up to the brickworks. Here's Debbie C. Yeah, so that was a long, long, long time ago. <laughs> Let's carry on with the story. So we've been interrupted. I was making that film, The Peugeot Story. We've been interrupted. We've been, um, we're on a mercy mission. So the only thing that I know where everything is for sure is my breakdown kit. So we need two jump leads because the car's facing the wrong way, so we might not be able to get to the front of it. So we need two sets of jump leads. Yeah, which we've got. So hopefully we can stretch it down the side of the car um, if that's possible or get to it from another angle. So there's the two sets of jump leads and we need a rope just in case we decide we're gonna tug it out so we've got a good rope and we've got the shackles ready at the end of the rope, ready to pull the car out. So we don't have to be making knots or nothing. So I think that'll do today. So that's all we need. Um, we're not sure. We're going to get a car. It's been stood a while, not very long, a week or so, but the alarm was going on it. So we suspect the battery might be flat or um, so it might run, it might not, but anyway, let's, um, let's do this little mercy mission we're on. So we're going to use the diesel, you know, <laughs> slowly getting under my skin. I'm slowly beginning to like it. Um, no wonder the last owner owned it for nine years and keeps telling me off when I call, keep calling in names. <laughs> well, anyway, the diesel is going to do, can you imagine? Crossing the wires on Big Blue. Oh my God, that would cost, wouldn't it? Uh, if it would survive it. So anyway, uh, you blow the brains, you blow the computers. How many computers are in that? Pure Peugeot. Anyway, let's uh, let's take this one. Let's do a, a mercy wishing with her. And um, slowly going under my skill. This is, we were discussing this the other day. Is this a future classic? Is this a future classic? It's at the bottom of its value. It's got to be at the bottom of its value now, hasn't it? It's a titanium, top of the range thing. It's got no many big dinks, banks and bumps. And um, what I'm trying to say to you is, wouldn't you like to have a Mark I estate car now? And what would that be worth? Wow. Or even a Mark II Escort estate. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Is this going to make it? Is this actual car going to become a future classic if we keep it and look after it? And is this now the time to buy these focuses? Find the best you can find and hang on to them because from here on upwards, from here on, it can only go up in value, can't it? It's a titanium, it's got alloy wheels. It's got lots of things, automatic lights. Um, keyless entry it's got lots of the modern things it's not as old as you think really it, I think looking at it now 
it was ahead of its time. There was a few things in this that was way ahead um, in things that it had. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, we'll do a full review of this. Let's uh, let's go and do this mercy mission first. Red, you know when the, the price you pay for getting getting rescued by Red on the road is <laughs> you're gonna be on YouTube, you bar. And that, that is my payment for today. <laughs> Your boss, you bar steward. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <coughs> Will it run? Will it run? What you got that French rubbish for? I'd never buy a French car. <laughs> I'd never buy a French car. Bloody for a rubbish. <laughs> oh, it flashed. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Stand back for the smoke. Stand back for the smoke. It should do. Oh, it's gonna run. Oh, hey! Uh, never, never, never. <laughs> You're on Reggie on the road. Again? Again? Up the road. Start again. Up the walls. Yeah, up the, the walls. <laughs> yeah. After that little distraction, the breakdown gear is back. The rope and the jump leads are back where we know where they are. So we always know where our breakdown equipment is in our garage. So let's finish the um, story of the 205. This is the front of the house. Um, there's the Izzy. The Isuzu Trooper, the first one. <laughs> oh, what year? I don't know. I think that was G-Reg. And it was a few years old. And here's a little Peugeot. And the reason I show you this film is here is the little Peugeot, bomb proof. But um, this is the the first sort of CCTV we had. This is way early in the morning. Hold on, let's run this a little bit. Slightly, shall we? Just pushing that button. Is that fast forward? Yeah, is that fast forward? Come on. Hold on, that's not available, okay. Oh, oh, I've done that now, hold on. Let's come back a bit. It's a bit grainy. Ignore this bloke, right. Let's push play. <laughs> so there's the Peugeot. Come on, is this gonna play? <sighs> yeah, right, so. Is that running now? Oh, it's running now, I think. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. It's worth a laugh. It's worth a laugh. Times two. All oh, right, times two. Ignore. All right, hold on. So you're all familiar with the house now, aren't you? Are we going to run that for? Oh, ignore the bloke running with just his pants and his boots on trying to rescue the horse mm. i don't know who was more scared me or the horse anyway <laughs> have we got a year we haven't got a year here oh well i better go and put some clothes on i just heard them coming down the side so i threw on my boots stop horse and my horseman skills aren't very good are they no and um Thank goodness there was no one driving by. They would have scared them. They think they'd seen a ghost. Basically just ran out, grabbed my boots and ran out there. I heard them coming down, jumped out of bed. So, yeah. I suppose I better go back and put some clothes on then, better I? <laughs> you do things instinctively, don't you? It's going to be a job to catch. So the next Peugeot was this Persian you recognize this as being now the Goldwyn garage so let's uh watch that for a minute Debbie's little garage yeah Debbie's little garage we um we are so you sort of recognize this doorway and that window now don't you and this was Debbie's little garage when we had the little yellow. I think it was a 107. There was nothing in here. It was just plain garage. 
and how this came about. What came first, the horse or the car, the chicken or the egg, the car or the garage? Well, in our case, Debbie's little car came first. So this is where Debbie used to keep her car. There was nothing here, just purely her car. Um, and the deal, I said to Debbie, can we build an extension on the garage? You can have the front bit here and I'll have the back bit for my nuts and bolts, nuts and bolts store. So that's why this is this size. This is the right size to put a little Peugeot uh, 107, is it? Yeah, one oh little, little yellow Peugeot, Debbie's first brand new car. Um, we'd been, obviously we, I had cars, and Debbie always had, we've always had two cars. Debbie's always had the second class car, as you might say, um, the wife's car. Anyway, I, I I don't think we only paid about six grand for the thing. Brand new. It was the cheapest new car that I could find for her. Um, it had wind-up windows. Yeah, I used to used to ring her up when I had my air conditioning and I'd say, uh, Debbie, 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 um, I've got an important decision to make. And I knew she was in traffic and she was winding a window up and down. And she didn't have air con, nothing like that in it. And uh, I've got an important decision to make. Oh, yeah. And I need your advice on it. Mm, yeah, she'd go. And I go, uh, shall I put my aircon on three or shall I put my aircon on four? <laughs> and I knew she didn't have any. And she was sweating in the summer in her little car. Yeah, the little yellow car. So let's just... So this is this was built for Debbie's car, Debbie's garage. That's why it's this small. Because... I'm going to show you the other side of the, uh, you probably know about it, but the, I'm going to show you the other side of this wall, the other side of this building. This, you see, is the other side of that shed, of that garage we built. So over there, behind there, is Debbie's garage. We put an extension on the garage. For a, that, that end is Debbie's garage. And part of the deal was these, all these shelves and all this lot, used to be and i'll go back to that other film now used to be up along here so i was able to move them all out into here so debbie gained a garage and i gained an extension to the garage which worked out all good yeah worked out really good yeah let me just show you how they used to be there's debbie look <laughs> it was a nice summer day yeah so hold on so then after the yellow one we had the purple puke yeah now the reason we got rid of the yellow one was what we tend to do here in this house is we have finance and we buy it and when the finance comes to an end just to keep it and update it we uh we say right we finished the finance on that let's go get another one so we went to get another one and the next one was Mr. Plum. Yeah. Purple puke this was. This was um this is this was purple puke. You know, Debbie likes her colours, doesn't she? <laughs> she likes coloured cars. Mm, yeah. And here they are all washed and polished. Here is the purple puke yeah, just coming back from Vivid Valid. Rich does an excellent job on giving it life shine. And here it is. Look, I should have, I should have done it, but look, this is, look. If he's rich from Vivid Valid, sending us a video of the purple puke, having had the treatment, having had the life shine on it. <laughs> yeah. Um, we had to, when we bought this one, it had to fit in Debbie's garage. So on the test drive, we said to the bloke, we need to take this home to see if it fits the garage. And, um, and it did, it fitted the garage fine, but it's, uh, they're only like driving around in brown paper bags. It's fine for a city car. Purple puke was fine, but then Debbie had to go to Shrewsbury. Um, the, her firm changed and they were dragging her off to Shrewsbury from Warsaw here 
which was a long way uh, every day for it to go and the little one wasn't up to it or it wasn't safe on the road we didn't think on the motorway so the next one to turn up was Mr Mustard and here is Debbie arriving she went to fetch it uh, obviously I wasn't available on work or whatever Debbie's gone to work gone to fetch it and um, this is Debbie arriving back with Mr Mustard now it's apparently it's sold we spoke to the salesman somebody came saw it and took it away so it went away by Thursday they received it on Saturday and by Wednesday or Thursday it was sold and gone gone to Worcester somewhere or something like that so here's Debbie look are you happy with it? Yeah, it's beautiful. Is that your new toy? Oh, is there a nice one underneath it? No, I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's the door. That, yeah, I haven't that's locked time. it, mind you. No, that's the... Um, that's that's the, just uh, remind me I haven't locked it. Look, mirrors, folding mirrors. Yeah. That's the um, entry light underneath the mirror light. It's got LEDs on the front as well. Ooh. Updated version. Right then, get ready <laughs> when this rains. Yeah, so there's Mr Mustard arriving yeah so we've got a long history and uh with peugeot this bit in could debbie will shout me hold on it's electric oh, no, it's all right i'll tell i'll figure it out so come on then are you happy say thank you say thank you Rexy. hang on a minute <laughs> i work yeah i work we <laughs> yeah yeah you're supposed to kiss thank me thank you get off with you <laughs> <laughs> Just to bring this uh, film to an end, this is why we don't have a problem with Peugeots. They have done as well. We've never had a major problem with any of them. So we were happy to continue. And and this was, this would be the third purchase from Arbury of uh, the Peugeot. The yellow one and the purple one came from here. I think the other one came from a local dealer, but he don't exist no more. Was it West Brom somewhere off off the ring road down there? There was a, I bought it there. But um, so why, why buy a Peugeot? Well, why not buy a Peugeot? We've had um, real good um, success with them over the years. Yeah, and fingers crossed, who knows? I always say, you really don't know if you're going to get a good and a bad and ask me in 12 months time or a year's time if this is going to be a good one or a bad one mm. so hopefully it's going to be a good one like all the rest have been so here is duke that we saw in the first peugeot when we were muck shifting duke used to come everywhere and then here is harry yeah and here is harry here and here is Charlie doing a bit of gardening with Debbie. Um, and uh, here's Charlie now. What are you doing, Charlie Bear? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, Charlie Bear? Here she comes. Here she comes. She told me she was coming. Here comes the madam. I've told the park it in the front. Not give it any damage. <laughs> Let's have a look. Remember to use that little camera and the lines. Yeah, she's using the 360 camera and the reversing camera. Look at that. So it's big, but those cameras make it so easy to back in a space. Wow, you know that looking down camera, what's it called? Yeah, it's just the step. It's automatic in it. Yeah, you don't want to give it too much stick or you end up in the bushes. There we are. Blimey. Look. It's a lot easier to park. Do you like it now? You getting the hang of it? Hold on. <laughs> Did you bring it back shiny side up? You haven't scratched it. You got your hair done. Woo hoo! There you are. Look. Are you getting used to it now? Um, yeah, I think so. Are you using the cameras? Yeah. Fully using everything. Yeah. Right. Okay. 
So yeah. Oh, what? crystal clear exterior varnish. Is it going to be, is winter coming? Is this for the gnomes? <laughs> You're going to do some gnome painting, Possibly. are you? Possibly. Possibly.